Hey everybody, AFC Northerners, Woo. Jan Davis, yeah. Sutar, Chris Aggins up in the house. Guys. And I want to bring in, after that amazing 23-0 shutout, Dre, come on in, man. Give us just look. Everybody, this is Dre. He's been a fucking great sport. Yeah. So, Woo. that game, 23 nothing. So, uh, what's your feelings on Hundley now? Uh, I thought he was horse, terrible horse, at UCLA. Horse, horse. Uh, he's confirmed in the NFL. He's terrible. <laughs> I don't know why they're sticking with him. I'd rather go with the second year quarterback. Uh, I forget how to pronounce his last name. I, I think like everybody forgets him. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's possible they wouldn't bring Aaron Ranch back, bad arm or not, but it, it's, yeah, it's a it, rough year. I mean, the, the what was it, four turnovers, right? Four, five, 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 four would've, sacks. Would have been sick that it that didn't get that was. last one. It would have yeah, yeah, yeah. been five for sure. It would have been five. How many, like, how many picks? Uh, at least three. Yeah. Three, uh, three picks. One fumble by him. One fumble by the running back. And it's crazy. So, at what? Whenever you're looking at this game, what are you taking away from it from your team specifically? Like, what can they do even with Hundley in to improve? Uh, not much. They can't, <laughs> they can't run the ball. Special teams is bad. The defense is actually very much improved. But, Especially our offense is hard. But, I mean, I feel sorry for Jordy Nelson. He, everyone that owns him in Fantasy League, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been a rough year. Um, and also, look at this fucking sweater. Oh, yeah. For real, oh, though. I, I dig there. that. Yeah. I, I, dig I dig the sweater. I dig the sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Devontae Adams is doing really well, but um, Randall Cobb is terrible. I think they did one play where they did Wildcat, which was, didn't make any sense. Yeah. Especially that, that's expired. Especially considering we can't run the ball, so I don't know why he's trying. Yeah. yeah it doesn't make sense. So he, I was just going to say, y'all got to take the Jags approach. Like, they got Bortles off the field. They're like, look, we're just going to run it 20 times. That's it. I'm actually afraid we play the Browns in two weeks. We think everyone's betting on them, us to be their first win of the year. So. If, if you lose to the Browns. Dave, Dave, DGBG, we're looking at you. Woo. Could be. Oh. This could be it. So this could be it. So on the Ravens offense side, uh, one, Hurst and Howard, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Hurst is still a turnstile. Howard doesn't care enough to actually stay in the game and do anything interesting. So um, he's just not even there. Uh, I'm really glad that Alex Cal Collins finally got his first touchdown of the season. It was beautiful to see that. Um, congratulations to that. For real though, that touchdown, that that uh, sack dance by like, uh. <laughs> that was insane. Um, so uh, the other things I want to talk on is one, Jimmy Smith. Holy shit! Right in the beginning, I mean, you guys had a badass drive, and you've really had like good drives in the beginning. Your first yeah. drives usually of the of the games have been really on point. And for Jimmy Smith, I mean, yeah, it sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. But Jimmy Smith coming in with that that catch, beautiful. Then he had another one. Marlon Humphrey comes in. Like defense, really. We're our defense is sick. The hay is in the barn. Like Raven subreddit, hay is in the barn. Um, so. Going forward from that, what I want to know is, from your perspective, like, what were the things that, whenever you were watching your our, your D go against our our O line and our offense, um, how would you like? How would you categorize that? Like, what would you say? Like, what would you say your defense did well against our offense? What would you well, see in this game? What would you see in this game? Well, definitely one of the positives was um, the run. We've been pretty consistently at slowing down the run. The numbers don't always show that. Uh, in the second half, we usually get demoralized because the offense is doing, that isn't doing anything. But I was impressed with the improvement of getting off the field on the third down. Uh, historically, all season has been bad. Your third there. downs were actually really good. That was one thing that I was mentioning there. It's like you guys would be third and eleven, and everybody's like, "Oh, we got him!" Like, no, they're really like. I'll give Huntley this on third down. He's actually something to be wary of. Yeah, I don't, maybe it's a sense of urgency. I, I you yeah. know what? That's the thing. It's like I think that that's also something that you see a lot with like rookie quarterbacks. Is like whenever they really feel the pressures, whenever they come, and it takes a little while to tap into that mentally. Well, I don't know who was announcing the game, but one of the things they highlighted was he hesitates. Yeah. You know, a lot of times he comes fakes when the guy is wide open, maybe because he's not sure he's open. That's a rookie thing. Yeah, yeah that's a rookie, rookie thing. thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's his third year, uh, so he's not a rookie anymore. Yeah. But it's his first year. First year. Playing. First year. Yeah. Guy. And he's he's got big shoes to fill. I mean. I'm giving him a hard time now because I love the Packers so much. But yeah. the reality is, he's following behind Aaron Rodgers. You never want to follow a, behind that's, 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 yeah. a, that's a tough thing to follow. Same thing with Favre. It's like, yeah, yeah what, where do we go from here? Oh, Aaron's first year, I was hard on him. So now, yeah, so. yeah. flip side of that coin, early on in the game, I think there were three turnovers. How many points did you guys get off those turnovers? Uh, yeah, we had, uh, in the beginning, we had three turnovers with three points. Woo! And then at the end, uh, right before the end of the half, was six. So it wound up being like six off of the three in the first half. And I mean, 
That's gross. Also, that's how bad our offense is. Clay Matthews was not in that yeah, second Clay half. Had, exactly. Had he I been think, in there? That would have been a different maybe, game. Yeah, maybe it different story. Maybe different story. Different game because you had that. You had a. I think somebody else got Clark. injured. Thank you. Clark got injured. Clark got injured. Yeah. So I mean, man, what a game. UCLA guys out there. Yeah. First shutout since UCLA. Yeah. First shutout. Sorry, sorry, more. You know, sorry, sorry, more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So first shutout since Just got fired too at the half. Yeah, got fired. Yep, just today. Couldn't give him twenty. You heard it here first, right? I want to give him another chance. I mean, it's not his fault. The chosen Rose is disappointed this year. Uh, really, the past two years. Uh, yeah. It's not all on me. So, guys, uh, just want to wrap up real quick. So, 23 to nothing. Uh, you know, again, Packers, Dre, dude, anytime that you want to be on the team, anytime, like, you want to come back, we'd we'll, love to have you. Chris yes. is up in the house. Um, so, uh, final thoughts on uh, going into the next game. Uh, next game is, I believe, against the Steelers. Uh, it'll probably be more of the same. Uh, the Steelers are somewhat hot, but I think they're a little bit of an overrated team. You know, believe in the Packers. All right. All right, uh, All right. Let me. Uh, uh, final thoughts. Well, Blackhawks, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, all right. So, the game coming up with the Pack. We got you in Pittsburgh. You saw what we just did to the Titans. Just dismantled the Titans. And with them having Marcus Mariota start, we totally exposed him for his for the weaknesses he has. I expect the same thing from Huntley. I think this is going to probably be a tough game for you, but I, I want to keep in contact. We can do this again after next week. <laughs> oh, you can find me. Oh, 100%. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, guys, so real quick, I want to chime in on the, the end of the uh, Ravens and final thoughts on uh, after this game. So, one, uh, our defense is still fucking amazing. Uh, it saved our asses on this game. Marlon Humphrey's been that today. Pick. Yeah, right after. Um, I want to say that our offensive, like, I, I personally am still ready to move on from uh, uh, Marty Morningwake at the very least. Harbaugh still, like, just the loyalty problem I have an issue with. And on top of that, it was, I mean, honestly, we have... The, oh, the last thing I want to say. My favorite play of the entire game, that Mike Wallace one-handed catch in that end zone. That's that, his one trick. That That's his one, one trick. Yeah. Oh, shut up. That's his one and trick. What an amazing catch. What an amazing catch. All right, guys, we're going to see you uh, soon for the next game. we got Monday Night Football coming up for the Ravens. In the meantime, we're going to sign off, as we always do, with Fuck the Patriots. Fuck them. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Cheater.